Hey guys, Tyrep here bringing you a two today. We're on Campbell's convoy. Same show spawning on the left. We've got Mule with the British forces. So we've got here and C. Team with him is Fergie, also with the Brits, who's going for Indian artillery. On the right hand side, we've got Yanko playing with Africa Corps, unselected currently, and Scotch with Wehrmacht going for coastals. Another one of these top tier matches. Infantry are in reserve. They await deployment. Rank one's involved here. So basically two of the very best range teams uh, going head to head. I think this is uh, maybe well, unsweet on the uh, battery. Yep, but what we saw from Scotch last time. Coastal. Quit your groveling. I want a wall here. No contact. Reserves have completed the wall. Crouch should turn up the top here. There's a dingo to meet it. Italian infantry arriving at the front. Got so fast though getting out of there. Sneak some Panzer Greens around the corner. Got a Vickers from Ferragi down the bottom here. Working his way in. Go Keeper and away. Infantry are in reserve. They await deployment. Let's do a bit of capping here. Ferragi, no grenades. It's the uh, crowd low. A lot of damage onto the engineers, but they do get uh, away. Quite low on health now though, but could maybe use them to repair the dingo up later, so maybe wants to keep them on the front lines until that happens. Oh, catches the uh, order appear here, so doesn't allow a full completion. And suppression kicks in, forces the retreats. Able to run out of cover, there's a bit of light cover there as well. So can get suppressed on the section, I'm trying to harass the resources a bit more. So looking quite good for the allies right now. Got quite a lot of captain going on. And now a mortar picked up by Mule. Mule's the air and sea player, so you know he's not going to have access to the heavy mortar. He's gone for a regular one. I'm going to force away Scotch's machine gun. Two Panzer Greens for Yanko. Ground there. The enemy have claimed our okay, and a bunker coming up out the back for the Scotch. Trying to cap in the middle, but crawl away it looks like. A capture point is being taken from us. Section has to get out of there though. Axis seem like they're hurting themselves into this corner. Very common from this spawn when you're playing with coastals. Kind of your base of operations. Territory lost. So we got the uh, medic upgrade coming like through on that bunker here shortly. The allies are captain deep into the territory down the bottom. Did use those engineers to repair up the dingo now. Rushing away is nothing over there though. There's smoke covering the capture here for the allies. Smoking out again. We have new units available. Target, it kind of seems company. like it. Didn't get some big damage done, but backs away. He's expecting the Panjagers, and there they go. Get a volley off. Oh, 
Oh, here's the uh, artillery officer. Three sections, and now the heavy mortar has been deployed for Fergie. So he went for a Vickers instead of a second engineer. Interesting to note. Maybe feels like it gets coastal, so it's a bit of cool. And it's not like he was going for a dingo to. He needed like two squads available to appear it up with or anything like that. It was interesting to see those little changes, you know, the players make depending on what they're fighting against and exactly what's happening in the game. But this is interesting. Fergie did not go for a Polston. Went for the med truck with this instead. Using it for some uh, forward reinforcing here. Oh, here comes the flak feeling though. Does have one AT rifle squad. A T gun for mules. Quite far out the back here, though. Can go chipping way up top, but Panzer is trying to get in range of him there. And he's getting low here for mule. Gets out. Gets out. So the guys uh, get the indirect through the middle. He's got to be active with that machine gun. Dropping down some artillery there. Job done. Dodge away though. Charging through the smoke here. There's the mid bunker out the back. LEIG setting up back there now for Yanko. Deploy that with the Corlin. The Vickers has pushed up. He's doing some reinforcing and healing with it over here. Really putting a bit of a siege down on this position. The allies inching their way in. And down some artillery out the back. Is that from the dingo? Might have been. Commander, we've got Paris with somewhere to be. Base howitzer action. From you. Yeah, Commandos now from you up in the top. Axis have fought back though, they're capping down the bottom as the allies well, tried to push into this area. Didn't quite have enough to uh, get the job done here. So they were neglecting other spots. And yeah, Axis taking advantage of that. We've seen this LEIG do very well in these indirect wars. Such long range on it. Soft retreat over to the uh, medics, it looks like. Reggie, a bit slow on the chase. Got out of range to be effective. Back feeling it hasn't seen too much action, really. Very conservative stuff with it so far. I imagine the Axis really want to keep it alive. Some uh, planes later on, maybe from Mule, they shoot down. So that's the uh, tactic here. Moment though, Axis in control of the victory points. They are slightly behind, about 60 off. At the start, but here we go. First Werbel hit in the field for Scotch. Section retreating. The T gun is in the retreat path. Should be able to prevent the wipe. Scotch applying a bit more damage. Maybe hoping to drop an extra model or two here, but it's not happening. T gun's going to get two shots in here, it looks. No, not quite. Maybe more having to dodge away now with the uh, LEIG fire getting involved. Some flares coming up as well. Maybe that was from the section. Water's about to get decrewed. Switches its targets a bit. 
designate defensive line is up on that point as well. So very hard to make any kind of damage stick back here with those crazy repeat, uh, reinforcing healing and repair times. going to see some uh, howitzer action, some bishops from the allies this time around. Berge did go for, you know, the heavy mortar, so he doesn't have the artillery saturation. I wonder if it's a decent option still to go for the saturation. It's a strategy from the axis like this just to get the extra shells from a bishop or something like that. We've seen that most players are opting for the heavy mortar, which is obviously extremely good, but the saturation will go. Very nasty connection there. It's a flank gun in with the uh, Panzer Greens. It's Africa Ball Panzer Greens, so I'm gonna be absolutely shredding up here, but still Fergie has nothing to stop this. And the AT guns are pushed up now. Mid truck all oh, getting stuck and getting killed. Ouch! Really bad news there for Ferragi. Oh, but it's could be the end of the flak half track. Oh, I think they lost vision of it. Slow coming out of camouflage there with the LMG commandos. Just on the rip in now. This mule doesn't have a uh, training, right? Or you have the one of the commanders, if that was the case. The guys have regathered the bottom. No mid truck anymore. And Matilda, the command post coming in for Fergie. If he's going to withdraw the uh, dingo now. Hellos, yeah, they've got no healing back at base at the moment. They were relying a lot on that mid truck. I suppose commandos can heal themselves. It's not too bad for Mule. Does withdraw the dingo now. With preservation on it. We're all coming down to the bottom. Got some sandbag cover there, so it looks like he wants to complete the cap before being forced away. T-gun setting up. A little bit slow though. It's a big old coastal rotation. Supporting the Werble. Looking to regain the bottom. Maxis doing very well in the victory points. Anko's gone for the six-man upgrade now. Just trying to charge in here. He's still on hold fire. Pops the smoke. Fighting away down there. Komodo's cycling into the middle. Oh, we take a big shot from the LEIG though. There's the new Werfer. He's going after the uh, Mortar of Mule. Could catch the Komodo's on retreat with some flames as well. Just about. Here we go. Some tanks hitting the field. One for Fergie, one for Mule. They're ready to start fighting back here. Definitely been the nail recently. Getting hammered by the Axis. And the Gostatori flame him down there. Is this what we saw last time? Or was it Armored Support? I can't remember. I think, I think it was. Italian Infantry as well. From uh, downtown, going after the heavy mortar, it looks like. Huge scatter, though. Been caught by uh, a couple more shells. Not much of a dodge there from Fergie. And he's uh, going for a rebuild on the med truck, it looks like, for his healing. Just holding them strong though, they've been doing very well in the victory points. And even with the arrival of Matilda, it hasn't really turned the tide yet. 
Fuji just waiting for that healing, it looks like, before he really makes a move. Try to plant some mines up here, but one engineer's come up here, getting the sweeping done. Nice a mule. He's not going to be able to sweep much, though. Just get rid of this one mine. It's not right clicked in it. What's happening there? Why isn't that swept? That's it anyway. Okay, oh, side tech from Scotch. He's built a pack now. I didn't. Oh, of course, he's got the Nebel Whiffer out. But this is maybe where the uh, Allies' lack of indirect is going to be hurting them a bit. Heavy mortars, maybe not quite cutting it. Did he pick up a second heavy mortar? Yeah. I didn't notice that. When did he get the second heavy mortar? Did he cancel the construction of the truck and call him in? Either way, the Nebel Earth are splashing down some big damage and some uh, big decrews on those mortars. Pretty good scatter on those Nebel Earth barrages so far. And the AT guns of the Axis really shutting down these Matildas. A Panzer three in the build now from Yanko. Two Nebel Werfers, in fact. Okay. Scotch, very big army now, 80 population. You don't bleed much when you're doing this kind of coastal build. Constantly back here for healing, so. Across the coastals themselves, pretty low reinforced cost. Yeah, very uh, low bleed kind of built. Might pay for the allies to maybe probe this area with their tank. There's not a lot that can really like threaten an isolated tank. Just a lot of slow like infantry uh, based anti tank. No martyrs or anything yet to chase it down. Might be worth exploring. Because they're not making any headway through the middle of the map, the allies. Force back inch by inch. Looks like that's where he's heading up now. Black feeling up there guarding. Could be a decent call for the commanders, maybe to like sneak up to one of these. And then as oh it's a mine over here, okay. Is that Vet 1 that ability? Wow. Little ambush there by the commandos. Gun and oh, and there we go. Regia commandos also going for the Gostatori. Our adversary is down to 250 points now. Super spots the mine there. Looking for a lucky kill, doesn't happen. I'm just trying to sneak in, but they're spotters. He's taking care of the mines, me always. Patiently getting up there, but the allies did lose control off the bottom again. So they are falling way behind on the victory point score. Now a martyr coming into the mix for Scotch. Getting a bit of work done, but oh, here we go now. A grant coming on for Mule gets a big hit there. Late retreat from Scotch. T gun of Yanko in there. Big push from Scotch. Is, uh, Shrieks are getting a little bit low. He's on pull fire there, right? That's not prioritized here because it's hold fire. Just about lost one of them. Either way, it's a good hold for Fury and maybe they can even look to regather the middle. Oh, there's a bit of trouble here. Panzer threes, he's got two of them so far. A bit of a roll on. He's just to contend with that AT gun though. Looks 
like Fury G sticking with the Matildas, not switching over to Grants. Here he comes into the middle now. So, okay. And is that the incendiary bombing from Mule, I think? Just try and dodge away. Some okay connections. He's pushing in. The flak feeling getting low. Oh, what is that? It's alive at a pixel. Now the Matilda's in a bit of trouble. Do you already use the smoke on it? I'm not sure. Oh, no, there it goes now. In the smoke. Matilda's still surviving. The Panzer threes Can't get the attack grounds going. Very close call there for Mule. He survives with both tanks. Okay, Nada coming in from the side. Looks like Fergie wants to decrease these AT guns. They're very far forwards. It's both of them. You can kill these off now. This is a big play from the Allies. Both AT guns here getting killed. Let's do one more. Why did this one pack up? That's weird. There we go. Well done there by the Allies. Still, uh, you know, maybe a little bit down on population, but even things out. A lot there. So they don't have the carpet bombing from the US forces, but incendiary bombing does cover a pretty wide area as well. Did a decent job displacing all of those uh, units. Royal Engineers trained and ready to go. So that means uh, no loiter. So side note, I'm going to say though. He's opening up. A T gun, I think. Oh, and the heavy mortar out the back. Oh, gets the decoy on that. Just going to the middle again. The allies hold on. Oh, there's a bit of a move. Maybe cooking from the Panzer threes. He's coming down here with the sweepers, clearing off the mines. Might be looking for a bit of a flank shortly. Tilders are doing pretty well against the Shreks. Here we go. Panzer threes coming in from the side. So this is going to be a dead section at least. There's a machine gun back here, confusingly. Section dead. Oh, that's a bad retreat path for the machine gun. Survive, that looks like. A T gun rotation from the Allies in preparation of this Panzer III flank after the machine gun spotted it coming. Oh! Coming down again. Oh no. Oh, the mid truck's in trouble. Oh, yeah, it does. Fergie, so far his dodging hasn't been exceptional, maybe a little bit slow on the dodge. I do find it quite hard to tell where those new work for barrages are landing by sound, you know? It's going to be very hard to uh, pin down the strange sound to them. Here where they're maybe gonna land. And where they're landing, you know. Oh! Double Martyrs coming in from the side here. Now another incendiary bombing out the back. Flare spotting. Going up for the Nebels, maybe hoping for the decrew. Some quite low. Not really that good. Doesn't quite get the Panzer Greens either. Not a very successful incendiary bombing this time around. The Navy is ready to they can knock out the bunker though, that would be quite good. They're pushing them with the AT guns. Just popping off though. Dodging away. That definitely helps the momentum the Allies had there through the middle. The machine gun as well, shutting down the commandos. He's lining up though. Oops. Scott's getting too close with the Marta. Pays the price. Oh, 
is out the back here, needs some repairs. It's 88 rolling onto the field for Yanko out the back. The Panzer III is coming in. And they're going to drop, uh, is that a Stuka dive bomb? From, uh, no, that's the Obiche, of course. It's not out of support. For some reason, I thought he's out of support. Maybe catch this engineer retreating. Be able to heal up at his truck. He repaired that back up to full. Bandage the center. Still, the allies are way down on victory points. Clock is stopped right now. Another grunt hitting the field for Mule. Two of them now. Cool. It's quite a lot of damage. Spreading it around amongst the two Panzer threes, though. Grunt chasing in. So no smoke for Yanko, does he not have it? No, he's got the pin bonus, the tungsten. Oh no, he's, he's got smoke. Oh, I, I don't have capture curse from him. Well, okay. There we go, you can see my cursor again. I've been recording some cinematics. I apologize for that. Good thing I realized it though, 26 minutes in. <laughs> uh, better late than never, eh? Okay, we have mid truck there. Maybe we're going to get the recruit cooking. Did he get one of those heavy mods destroyed? Oh no, it's over here. 88 deployed. Push up in the middle. We'll say that the allies, they do have the vision edge being able to pop up some section flares. It's like it was a naval bombardment instead of the assault flares from Mule, but you know, if they wanted more vision, that was also another option. It's generally stronger though if you're a bit more infantry based. Seems like Mule's Loading up on tanks. He stays in here, gonna get the D cap off. And soft retreat back to the mid truck. Okay, Grants. Gonna make a bit of a move, but the Upenda 3 survives. Grant gets around the corner. Very low. I'll just get a cheeky grenade off though, coming out of camouflage. Two grunts coming in. Oh, that's Grunt and Matilda combo. The T gun uh, gonna get decreed here. Matilda's got pretty good scatter. And, uh, shot after shot here. Gonna look for the next kill on the other AT gun. Coming in with the Panzer three now. Trying to get the Grant kill. No, and Matilda gets the decoy on both. Don't think he's got the... Uh, oh, that's close enough to the 88 there. Takes a shot. Don't think he's got enough firepower to kill this off, though. And the DDL healing up the uh, tanks very quickly. Oh, engine crit from the 88. Oh my goodness, that is dying so fast. He's trying to hide into the smoke now. But, oops. Mardis run into a bunch of AT rifles. And the AT gun. Somehow the Matilda survives. 88's in trouble. This is truck. It's way out the back here. He's in range over the bunker for reinforcing. I don't think so, right? I think that's the edge of the range there we're seeing the red dots. Oh! Oh, Fergie slow to react. He loses two engineers! Oh no! He's busy trying to micro his tanks. That's a nasty loss for him. He's got a lot of repairs required now. 
Another incendiary bombing. 88 decrewed again. Pushing up with the AT guns. Maybe they can kill this off. He's coming through with the truck, trying to recrew it. But I don't think it's going to be successful. The Grant's now pushing in. They're happy. They got the 88 down. Are they going to try push for more? Maybe go for the bunker kill? Just going to drop some base out to fire in out the back. The Grants are coming in. Well, that's the air burst, actually. Georgie. So they managed to break through a bit here. Interesting, the commanders can cap while camouflage, but the scouts can't. That's... Didn't notice that before. We're losing a victory point. Take fire. Faster. coming in. Whereabouts is that? Okay, the allies got to be careful about uh, pulling back through here. So far, all the shells are missing though from the Abiche. But uh, nicely done here by Scotch, coming down to the bottom, sneaking through the uh, victory points while they're under a lot of pressure like this. Yeah, evil barrages. AT guns go down, doing what the uh, Viche could not there. It's to rebuild on the bunker. It's got the bulwark on them as well, you can see it's got the extra health. Sandbags down the front. Bombers fully restocked. Bring a mine down here. He's in heavy mortar range though. Didn't trigger. I think mortars also have 25 penetration against 35 armor of the mine. <laughs> there it is, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, top 10 guys, you know, top 10 players here, you know. This is a top 10 place. But the allies have drained out, you know, a good 50 ish VPs before they get back down here, so it was ultimately a pretty nice move for Scotch. That's a lot of tanks now. Four grants for Mule. That is population limit. Another 88 in the build for Yanko. Must have missed it for one of his to go down. Three Panzer 3s. Buffs on them now, pretty much as well. Air burst out the back. The allies are making some moves. The incendiary is coming down, forcing the axis forwards. But the grants are running in hot here. They're taking some huge damage. Two grants extremely low. Ooh, trying to extract himself now. They've got a decrew on one AT gun. But it's just hanging in there. Grants may be losing vision. Oh, the officer dies. That's big. Meanwhile, Gostatori making some plays, but here we go. We've got the sweepers. The flank from the Panzer threes are coming in. Realize themselves, looks like they lost one of their AT guns. They got a couple of low health grants back here as well. Are the Panzer threes bold enough to go in for them though? Okay, here we go. They did manage to recover this AT gun, maybe just in time. The Tilda's over here, the Panzer 3s are going in though. Oh boy, this is big plays from Yanko. Courageous stuff, he knocks out one Grant. Smoke out, trying to avoid taking too much. And then the uh, Obiche coming down and getting some hits. Oh! Squad white, Panzer 3s all survive. Wow. Or maybe I spoke too soon. Grenades? Where did you not have grenades? Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he knocks out the squad after that as well. Courageous stuff there from Yanko, but it worked out pretty well. I think he killed a Grant. 
Didn't lose anything, and then the uh, Obiche maybe got a wipe or two. Really good play though, like swooping forwards, then smoking to kind of isolate these tanks from being out of fire. And then he could really focus on what was like on this side of the smoke. It's a great play from Yanko. He's getting the uh, capping now. Looks like this does hit a bit wide as well, the 88. Let's kind of creep it into a new position. Yanko himself pretty much at the population limit. Okay, he's sending the truck in to do some scouting. He's in a bit of trouble here. No chase from the ground though. 88 rotated somewhere, and now he's going back into the middle. Okay, oh, he had a big spare truck. Got him from the other 88, I guess. Wanted to free up some population. Triple Panzer threes. Looking for something. Commandos though providing some bit of bit of long range sight here with the camouflage. Sniffing out the Axis moves. The Allies in control of the VPs right now. They have been doing all right as of late. So Scotch has been uh, getting blasted a bit. Allies are uh, getting close to some more. High munition attacks again, it looks like. They put down a cache down here, remember? They had a second one on the high mini point as well until it dies just before, so definitely a big part of the Allies' plan to use those off maps. I'm do it in waves. One in here jamming the cap while camouflaged. Rules after the Vickers. Treats away from that easily. Vickers just hanging in there, but another one going after the heavy mortar out the back. Fergie dodging pretty well this time around. That rocket probably would have been the end if he hadn't dodged, so nicely done. Just smoke out from the RIG, perhaps. The 88's coming in from the north. Four Panzer 3s now, going after the AT gun, the Grants are coming in, 88's in a great position for this fight though, he might be biting off more than he can chew, he needs some uh, off maps on this 88, might not have vision, the commander's heading up that way, engine crit on one of the Grants, one of the Panzer 3s went down, right, that's a, that's a troop transport, that's a 250. Is it, a, is it just a 250 up there? Oh, he's got a third knee worth. I was going to say, surely they haven't cooled down already, but yeah, he went for a third one. So, so much indirect from Scotch. Yeah, they are cooled down actually because they are bit three. So it's pretty good for their cooldown times. Definitely some of the better uh, Nibworth for barrages I've seen in this game. Running run hot. You build on the Panzer 3 now for Yanko. Smoke out. Attack ground shenanigans going on. Yeah, heavy mortars splashing down for some decent damage. Definitely the med truck of Fyurgy working overtime this game. Third one now. Oh, the connection there. Grunts hammering out the damage. Again, the 88 connects though. Engine critted. Commanders try to sneak up, but they run into the wall of Panzer 3s. A little bit slow to react. Yanko might have been able to get the wipe if he was right on top of things. 
evil's just saturating the area. Got one of the uh, uh, heavy mortars. We cruised that quite early. Is that straight? Oh, it's pretty it's like it was straight there too. I wonder if uh, there, does he have team weapon training? Yeah, he does. Extra health on them, that means. Okay, Grant's forcing back the Panzer 3s, but they're not bold enough to chase up there. Could be some mines quite easily. Could have a sweeper up, but not enough to go for like a deep chase or anything. Anyways, Panzer 3s are very fast now with all those upgrades as well. But again, the Axis find an opportunity to sneak down to the bottom, get a decap off. Maybe uh, Ferji needs to spend a bit of time down here mining this up. This has happened so many times. Doesn't have any engineers at the moment, though he's lost them all. So has two types of truck. So the Allies are going to drain under 100 here, though. During this move. Oh, big needle damage. Oh! Even splashing in on the Matilda since it got that pin bonus, remember? The matches back. Okay, maybe a slightly bad time to pack up with the uh, 88. Grant's making a bit of a move there. Oh, mid truck. Oh, can't survive to the Nebel barraging. Panzer 3 is just camped up the top here. He's trying to send some sweepers up there, seeing if the coast is clear, but. Panzer 3s are shutting that down and always threatening the flank as well. Maybe Mule could get a couple of mines down, but just want to save up for those uh, off maps. He's got a lot that's loaded up. 400 munitions right now for Mule. Here comes the Grant Pain Train. 88's in a slightly compromised position. They're bringing down the incendiary. And the air bursts. And the naval bombardment. All the buttons have been pushed. But they're taking a long time to decrew this 88. Finally get through it now. Oh, was that friendly fire? His own mind triggering there. Not good for Yanko. Things are threes now stranded out here. Mata out the back in some okay hits and Nebel trying to barrage down the Grants. And he's doing a pretty good job of it too. One of them looks likely to fall. Going in with the Grant, looking to mop this up. If he's, we'll consider popping the get one on the Grant here for faster rate of fire. Looks like the uh, 88 did get completely destroyed. Ooh, that went really badly for Yanko. Really, really badly. I think it was driving across his own mine. Got shot at. Engine damage on two Panzer threes. Just uh, absolute disaster. He's uh, rebuilding though. He had a lot of resources floating, I guess. I wasn't really paying attention. <clears throat> Panzer threes coming up here. It's not repaired. The Grant's guarding it. Panzer 3 is going to cook up a flank here. Oops. Right. He's on prioritized vehicles. Why is that still shooting at infantry? 37 mil gun. Got a mind of its own, eh? Well, did survive with it at least. Oh! Tried to do some repairs. Ouch. Not really any squads that can come up here and cap this for the Allies. 
type mule may be considering coming in from the top. It was a right the way out the back at the moment. Really defensive stuff. Just going to deploy some commandos up top to try and do some capping. It's not a bad idea. I was looking to set up the triple cap here. They really made that push count. Max is struggling to rebuild. We've got 76, 68 versus 48, 72. So what's that, like a 30-ish population, 20-ish population lead? For the allies right now after all that. Here we go, Panzer III's coming in. Grant's going to hold the ground. They've got such a big vet advantage, the Grants. Story, looking to prevent the cap. Nibbles coming up to the north. Is that a registered artillery? Also coming down from Yanko. Nexus have pushed all the way back here. Another good Nibble. Catches the team weapons. So many repairs required for the Allies though, and they are lacking engineers. One engineer for Mule. That's it. So their tank repairs are going to be incredibly slow. And here we go. Panzer threes are coming in. Double Martyrs up the top. One Panzer three goes down. But we've got a bunch of very, very low health grants here. One down. Oh, he comes back up here with the grant. But that's the bad call. Because, uh... Martyrs are pushed up. He's so slow now, he's popped that VIP 1 ability. Maybe you could tag in, get the Matilda up to the top. Just trying to play a bit of a cheeky strategy around that corner. Exploit the lack of a turret. At least the Axis are doing pretty well and that they're not suffering a triple cap during all this. Say that much. Evil's out the back there. Big damage decreeing the AT gun. Just about the machine gun. Mando's didn't retreat. They're just healing up. He wants to cap again, but this is actually pretty good play from Scotch. He's putting down a bunker to try and guard this. I will say that light cover generally does make suppression from uh, bunkers like really slow. Just guarding to the bottom. Ferrigi doesn't want to lose this to another cheeky squad from Scotch. Just ducking down there for a capture. And uh, what happened? Did he lose? He lost the vet on this. I don't, I'm, not sh I'm not sure how that happened. It wasn't maybe uh, to a heavy mortar barrage. Lost the vet on his knee workers. Oh, uh-oh, this is trouble for Mule. There's a three's coming in from the side. This could be the successful one. Oh, if this tank's one shot. And there we go. Mule lost almost all of his tanks now. Panzer threes are continuing on their attack. Axis are really feeling the pressure now. They're under 50. They're going in here. They're dropping the OB cheat. That's all systems go for the Panzer threes. Oh, the OB cheat getting some big hits. All of Ferrigi's tanks going down, but the ground's coming in now. Both Panzer 3s also look likely to fall, but the Obiche catches the Matilda all the way back here. And the Panzer 3 might escape even, but a smoke out. A T gun loses vision. Unbelievable. Tried to go for an attack round, unsuccessful. Oh! What happened? The Panzer 3 came down here, got the cap off. Commandos, though, deployed, going for the cap themselves. I think uh, Ferigi activating his uh, perimeter monitor, I think it's called. During all that as well. Oh, the naval bombardment coming down. It's a crazy VP war, but he's running into his own teammate's flames. The Bustatori hanging on there by a pixel. Commando's not so lucky, they go down. It's just an all-out capping war here, but he's got a vehicle capture, remember? 
Registered artillery coming down. Guess the neutralizer off has to get out of there. Let's go and stick up here with the grunt and try and knock this out with the smoke blocking vision, actually. I'll try to attack ground through it. He's taking quite a lot from the registered artillery, actually. Decides to back away. There's another Panzer three coming up that direction. The other Panzer three with its capping. Really locking down the bottom. The AT gun's coming up for Fergie, but he lost all his tanks. Remember, three Matildas went down. Back to back in the middle. Manos with the uh, vision here. Passing this away. Axis managed to get the decap in the middle. This is so much VP pressure now on the Allies. He's going to come in here with the penetrating rounds now on the track feeling. He really wants this Grant kill. He's getting around to the rear. Grant holding his ground here nicely. Can the flak feeling get the job done? No. But the bunker's gonna hold on. The Grant's backing away. 62 points left for the Allies. They get the middle. Who's going out the back? Oh, this is a crazy capping stall with the attack round. Great work there from Yanko. And now uh, this commando can't do anything. This needs to get out of it. He's gonna lose it. I think that's the end of the Allies. They've got nothing left. Look at their population. 14 for Mule. Did he lose that? He lost that Grant as well that was up here. Maybe to an AT gun or maybe to these uh, martyrs coming down. I think that's it. I think the Allies just don't have what it takes anymore. What a game though. Just, Axis were in major trouble. And they made the big plays happen, you know? It's a great capping play as well. Let's recruit the AT gun. Just throwing grenades. A little bit early, no engine crit though. So try and find a demo charge there. Oh, was there a mine back there? Three now with the damage engine. It's just going for the middle. They have to give up on that. Matilda's heading to the bottom. Panzer three is going to go down, but the other Panzer three is coming in hot. Oh, the Allies! They managed to cap down the bottom. Matilda's smoking. The Martyrs are in hot pursuit here. Both teams kind of stalling out in the middle. How? Brave as Scotch to charge through this crazy wall of smoke. So he's gonna settle for killing off the decrew team weapons that Matilda's coming back in. A lot of attack round action into the middle. The allies ooh, about to lose both their squads though. And the, the drain's just not fast enough, I don't think. Brings down the incendiary bombing to prevent the capture, but it's not gonna prevent the Panzer three from capping. Capping here. I'm just holding in on the bottom. There's smoke out from the Panzer III now. Oh! Until they're getting blasted. This Panzer III's gone in real fast. Slicing right past. Not to the side armor. Yep. And the Axis end up coming out on top. What a game, though. Hell of a match. And here we go. So yeah, it was a like, pretty strong, like very early start from the Allies. But then once the Axis got that bunker designate defensive line set up, they dominated from like maybe eight minutes to about Man, uh, it was a long time. <laughs> but then the Allies started to make some breakthroughs with their off maps. You know, they invested in the Muni caches and then they make big pushes. Incendiary bombing, air bursts. Just beat the uh, Axis back time and time again. Eventually, that big one they did it with both the uh, naval bombardment on top of that as well. That really put the Axis way behind, and they were struggling to build themselves back in after that. So that big 
massive off map push, but in the end, some cunning uh, VP tactics from both teams, but the Axe is just squeaking the win. That dive from Yanko with the Panzer 3s, you know, just, they killed so many tanks. It was the Obichi off map from Yanko as well that redid so much to all those Matildas too. And that just put Fergie out of commission. He had three Matildas there, they're all low. If they all survived, probably would have been the win for the Allies, but Axis able to squeak it out. GG, hell of a match there. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good night.